How do I get my green card or visa? Guidance from the most recent data from the US government. Hello everyone, welcome to New Learning Law Group's YouTube channel. We are living in the era of big data, in which data science, including statistical data and analysis, plays an important role. Today, let's look at the most recent information for US green cards and all kinds of visas. The data presented here was recently released by the US federal government. First, the numbers for green card and different categories. There are several major pathways that allow you to obtain a U.S. green card, and we at New Wayming Law Group have helped applicants in various situations. There is family-based immigration for the spouse, children, parents, and siblings of U.S. citizens, and for the spouse and unmarried children of current green card holders. There are also employment-based green cards, including EB-1, for aliens of extraordinary ability, for outstanding researchers, and for multinational company executives and EB-2 for National Interest Waiver, NIW, and for company-sponsored green cards for individuals with advanced degrees or exceptional ability. Then there's EB-3, also company-sponsored green cards for people working on positions that require a bachelor's degree and for skilled and unskilled workers. There's also EB-4 for religious workers and other special immigrants, and EB-5 for investment-based green cards. In addition, there are people who receive U.S. green cards through diversity lottery, as refugees or asylees, through cancellation of removal, or as victims of crimes and their spouses and children. For the entire fiscal year 2019, the United States issued more than 1 million green cards to new immigrants. Among them, more than 50% received green cards through adjustment of status by filing I-485 applications inside the U.S., and the rest went through consular processing and received immigrant visas abroad. In the EB-1 category, nearly 40,000 individuals received their green cards, most of them by filing I-485. The same is true for EB-2 category. For the EB-3 category, a total of 41,760 green cards were issued, among them 70% were through I-485, and the rest through immigrant visas. In EB-5 investment-based green card category, around 9,000 green cards were issued, more than 80% of which were obtained through consular processing and immigrant visas abroad. For family-based immigrations, we first look at immediate relatives of U.S. citizens. In fiscal year 2019, more than 300,000 green cards were issued to the spouse of U.S. citizens, among which two-thirds filed I-485 inside the U.S. More than 60,000 green cards were issued to young children of U.S. citizens, including adopted orphans. Around 140,000 green cards were issued to the parents of adult U.S. citizens. Overall, more than half a million individuals received green cards as immediate relatives of U.S. citizens who do not need to wait for quota. Among them, 60% obtained their green cards by filing I-485 inside the U.S. Then, there are other family-based immigrants who do need quota. More than 90,000 green cards were issued to the spouse and children of green card holders, including unmarried adult sons and daughters of green card holders. Around 25,000 green cards were issued to unmarried adult sons and daughters of U.S. citizens, and an equal number of green cards were issued to married children of U.S. citizens and to their spouse and children. Finally, around 60,000 applicants received their U.S. green cards based on sibling relationships to U.S. citizens. In fiscal year 2019, more than 800,000 immigrants obtained U.S. citizenship through naturalization. In comparison, there are around 4 million newborns in the United States that year. Now, for people who entered the U.S. using non-immigrant visas, currently only the data for the first three quarters of fiscal year 2019 have been released by the federal government. During these three quarters, individuals holding F1 student visa entered the U.S. more than 1 million times. For J-1 visiting scholar, visiting student, and exchange worker visa holders, that number is around 400,000. For H-1B work visa holders, nearly half a million. For L-1 multinational company employee visa holders, slightly more than half a million. For TN work visa holders from Canada and Mexico, also slightly more than half a million. For O-1 extraordinary ability visa holders, nearly 100,000. For G-4 workers of international organizations and their dependents, also nearly 100,000. For K-1 fiancé visa holders, around 25,000. There are more than 4 million entries to the U.S. by individuals holding B-1 business visitors visa, and more than 3 million entries by those holding B-2 visa who visit family members or tour the U.S. 
Finally, a large number of people from many countries all over the world can visit the United States without a visa through visa waiver programs. Of course, there are restrictions because of the pandemic now. Hopefully, things will change soon. At New Learning Law Group, we have obtained both employment-based green cards and family-based green cards for thousands of applicants. And we also obtained H-1B, L-1, O-1, K-1, F-1, J-1 waiver, B-1, B-2, and other visa approvals for numerous individuals. Please contact us at info at nwmlaw.com to receive more information. Thank you.